Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Sanctus Reach in the next Chaos Turn or on the next Chaos Demon Turn right here and as I prophesied at least a little bit in the last turn we are facing um, Corn Demons right now and of course the usual warp spawns acceptable for me please don't attack So, nicely the enemy is um, clumping up and I think I know where a certain tank of mine is going to shoot in my turn. And that's probably going to be exactly into there. But first of all, I'll have to move my land speeders a little bit away like so. Where do we have the wild wind? Here it is. And he's gonna hope hopefully going to land some great hits. That is even more than I expected after all. Very, very nice. So the terminators are going to move up a tiny little bit. And they are going to be in to shoot. Ah sadly. I didn't have my terminators at the proposal here which are against anti um, armor that would have been of course absolutely amazing but no I can't change it can I so bad thing is I thought I would have more terminators up here there I was a little bit wrong wrong down but anyhow that's it for now Mm -hmm. Terminators move up a little bit, I know, they are probably going to be engaged in close combat. But I honestly hope to deal with many of these units before. So the plan, whether that is going to turn out right or not, that we will see. We are even going to throw Ragnar into the fray, because in close combat this guy... Okay. I against these guys not but he can be a absolute beast but I shouldn't have moved him up here I guess anyhow he nearly um, eliminated complete squad there fair for me um, predator tank moves like so and shoots these guys and doesn't do any good so land raider moves ahead can I? Yes, that's awesome. There you can see the power of less cannons. And Master Crafted Weapon, the Space Marines are rewarded with legendary weapons, various bonuses to weapons, no degradation over distance is nice. Power full force field generator. I'll go with the force field generator for now. Because I think that beast is absolutely amazing and worth it. I know, um, we may say that it ain't that good that we, ooh, that was good, can't uh, move more units here, but most of them are being engaged anyhow. Alright, they move up, can I? I have to shoot through cover, but I'll do it. Believing in the mighty heavy bolter, well fair enough. Then these guys move up and shoot as well. I'll even have a frag grenade which I'll use because sometimes, um, which is nice with the, which I noticed with the frags that you can um, break their moral and that is really amazing. So as I always say, less cannon, you've got to love it. Um, there's only one thing you can do, you can only love the less cannon. The um, thing I right now do not like too too much is that we can't shoot with everyone, that is too bad, but fair enough. Can you shoot? Okay, I'll move you there and then I just shoot into them well not the best hit but I dig it nearly brought him down moving you up then you move there and shoot kill it 
And now I will shoot. They are broken. I don't need to shoot into them. But as for having no targets, I'll do it anyhow. Not bad, um, but not good either. I think I'm going to do a little, not risky thing, but I will punch through this wall. I thought I could take it down, actually. Obviously not. Well, that would have been amazing if he could have just moved through there, to be honest. Heavy bolter. One is down, maybe even taking down a second and... Oh, nice. More than I hoped for. Yes, I know. We are completely clumped up. If Flamers of Siege would come, which I do not think, then we would have a little problem. But I am just hoping they won't come. So we should be all good here. Moved all my units. Good, good, good. Except the bikes, which now will move on as well. I don't want to move them up too, too far. Probably these guys are going to get to close combat anyhow. So 200 damage plus nearly 200 again. Nearly 400 damage there. Amazing, I can only say. So come on, do another couple of good hits and that shall be fine. Brought them down nicely. Okay, that was not good. I thought I could move them away a little bit more. So what of course is not as good for us is that here um, there's plenty of cover and that means we are going to clump up. That is not good for us, but I will try to give my best there. All right, we moved everything. Ending our turn, hoping that not, oh crap, not too, too many guys are actually going to get to close combat. That would be very, very, not sad, but I'd say hard to deal with. Um, we have tanks up in the front, which is not bad because, they, oh man, how many of the Herald of Corns are they? Holy crap, that's going to be a very hard fight, a fight I can tell you. Um, let's see, these three guys can move. Please, Ragnar. So, I oh, know. That was Ragnar. Good that it's the last mission, anyhow. So, we are, as you can see now, in a little bit of trouble. There are plenty of hard hitting units up here. And the bikes can't move away. Um, how do we deal with the situation? I think I'm gonna move them there. And then I'm going to move my Dreadnought out. And deal with at least a couple of these guys. 600 damage. Are you joking me? That is insane, isn't it? And that one is nearly down as well. I know the wild wind is going to get some fire into them. That was not really bad, I think. This dreadnought is going to move out as well, guys, because he can shoot into close combat. Uh, he can do a little bit of close combat, which is always quite good. So run, Herald is down. That is amazing. Only a couple of them to go three to be uh, two to be precise so there the teleporter thing helped us out a lot so if you would be so kind so only one herald remains that's actually pretty damn amazing because I can use my land speeders there for a advantage which I will actually even do so could you please kill them off in close combat and then we have a new angle of attack and B attack. That's not good. Alright, that I didn't see. Okay, they already shot. Could you please move like sir as well? Shoot as well. 
Okay, did they have an upgrade? Yes, they did. So there you go. Oh, they have the same. So do as good as they. So another one down. Probably I can't shoot anymore. All right for me right now. Now you move there. And you shoot a little bit as well. Nice crits there. All that is I can say. Um... I think I need to move at least a little bit ahead. Those guys are goners. Can I even shoot them? Nice. May seem like a little bit of waste, but I don't think so. Here, you move up. And pump everything into this guy. Probably you won't do too, too well. I shoot them. The softer targets for the bolters. That is what I say there. Uh, 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 um, if I move them right there, I will block a little bit. I get it. But I can do some nice... More damage than I thought there. Nice, nice, nice. And then the good part is in the next move we can do a lot of damage to those nasty demons. And I can even shoot him. That's a, a priority target there for me. That is for certain. Move up. Kill him. And then I shoot this guy. Um, I did not expect, honestly, that we could... Um, do as good as we do here right now because I expected through the clumping up and everything and not every single unit can shoot we would have a lot of trouble although of course um, losing Ragnar ain't good um, he's a character that is never good but I shouldn't have moved him out like that but anyhow that now we can't change so Bolter your stuff and I can even shoot him so nearly took this guy down they just move up can't do anything else with them maybe I should have moved those terminators earlier but anyhow they should be more up in the front so still we have two land speeders here and they are, of course, opening fire on these guys. I know they are broken, so they won't probably do much. Or would it, wouldn't have done much to us. But that now is too late. And shoot the blood letters as well. So they are down to 59 HP. I can't believe that. That was even too good. So giving it... To the enemy here that's going to be one more turn in this round one enemy turn and then we are at the end of this episode guys all right good the lens videos were there if the second oh, okay okay didn't fire I know I didn't move the land speeders or I didn't put them into the right direction smaller mistake of mine there Please survive, thank you. And yes, it is um, It is not really good that we... Oh god, so I'm gonna lose the bikes, I guess. It is not really good, of course, that we lost Ragnar there. A main character, fluff-wise and everything, but anyhow. Alright, guys, um, in the next episode, um, we are, of course, going on here. As you can see, it is good for us right now. All the units moved in here. I'm trying to move, move the land raider, of course, here. The predators here. Everything to take those guys down. On the right side, the infantry is going to go. But for now, guys, as usual, I really thank you for watching. If you actually have enjoyed this episode, then why don't you give me a thumbs up and subscribe? And hopefully, I'll see you beautiful people in the next episode. Until then... Have a nice day, stay frosty, bye.